My name is Rafael Prophet, District Chief of District 1, Unit 1, where the cycle starts. Daryl, being a traveling driver, made me his uh, immediate supervisor. Although a longtime friend, I am not one of his closest friends on the department. Daryl had many friends, such as retired firefighter Jeff Harris, firefighter Willie Jones, Phil Robert Anderson, and close friend, neighbor, and confidant, Captain Chris Miller. Any of these brothers are better suited to speak in Durrell's behalf, but I ask them to allow me to speak. You see, as his district chief, I felt obligated. No, I felt honored to speak of Durrell's caliber and great character. As I recall, nearly three years ago, he and I began working in District 1, Unit 1, where the cycle starts. At the same time, he, recent, he had recently been promoted to FAO, and I had just returned from an overseas military deployment. It was also my first time back in suppression in nearly 10 years after being assigned to 40-hour staff. I didn't know the firefighters very well, so I sought Durrell's counsel. I told him of my anxiety and asked if I could come to him from time to time for advice of the firefighters. You see, as a traveling substitute driver, I rotated Durrell through each company of District 1, Unit 1, where the cycle starts, periodically. Durrell simply replied, sure, Chief. I felt better knowing I had someone of Durrell's caliber and reputation as my pulse, my barometer, my command, Sergeant Major. When Durrell joined the department in 1985, his character and core values had been shaped. Raised in a loving home, but, disi raised in a loving but disciplinary home, Durrell's moral compass was well set. As his sister Dorothy told me, they knew implicitly the difference between right and wrong. Growing up in nurturing Woodlawn, Durrell learned the value of community, where his compassion for his fellow man became ingrained. Playing on a championship high school football team showed him the importance of teamwork. But according to Durrell, the best decision he made was joining the distinguished fraternity of Kappa Alpha Psi, not solely for his dear fraternity's precepts of achievement and service, or the lifelong friendships he established and sustained, but it is while pledging that he met his Angela. You see, Durrell jo you see when Dur Durrell joined the fire department, it immediately became a better place. Fire recruit classmate Robert Anderson told me Durrell was aggressive from the start. Just like a championship offensive lineman, he fought fires by always pushing forward. Durrell was assigned to Engine 14 as an EOD tech, or explosive ordnance disposal, for over 20 years back in the day before robotics. He was known nationally throughout the EOD community. His moral compass was true and straight. There were no grays, only black and white, or right and wrong. That's why it was easy. In the 80s, when the city had instituted its no smoking policy, for Durrell to strip the cigarette out of the fire chief's mouth and say, no smoking in the firehouse, chief. His sense of community is evident by, his outpour by the outpouring of affection for the citizens of Glendale. His compassion for his fellow man is obvious by the encouragement and dignity of work he provided to several men who were down on his luck. His fraternal bond was strong as displayed by his many years of dedicated service in the Cincinnati African American Firefighter Association and local firefighters union, Local 48. So every three weeks on a Sunday, in District 1, Unit 1, when the cycle starts, we will defend our brother Daryl Spear by renewing, calibrating, or resetting our moral compass, strengthening our community, sustain uh, compassion for our fellow man, and solidify our fraternal bonds. Thank you.